morning everybody and welcome to another vlog so as you can see it's absolutely chucking it down and I'm still out here taking the mutt for a walk because it's a vlog anyway what we're doing up at six o'clock in the morning when it's that out with the dog when it's absolutely chucking it down but it's the 30th of September today Something used to happen on the 30th of September years ago. I can't remember what it is anyway. Yeah, so it's 30th of September today. And um, we're going on a little trip. Me and my lovely wife. We're going to country. No, we've not been naughty boys and girls. We're going to the Rico Arena where my cousin Mark works. He's football manager for Coventry. But we're going to a plumbing exhibition. So, can't waffle and mess around this morning. So let's get on with taking the mutt out and uh, get down to Coventry. Now this plumbing and heating exhibition is what we call Install Alive. And like I say, it's at the Coventry Building Society Arena, which it's called now, instead of the Rico Arena. So according to Google Maps, it's gonna take us just over two hours to get there. So we should arrive around about 10 past 9, just in time for it opening at 10. So, without further ado, messing around, let's uh, get on the M6 and get through that M6 toll and pay about 12 quid for the pleasure. Finally arrived at the Rico Arena, even though I think it's changed its name now. So where our Mark plies his train. And you can see it's nine o'clock, doesn't open till ten, and there's still loads of cars here already. So gotta wait till ten o'clock before it starts. So I uh, need to go over to where it is actually because I'm uh, bursting for the toilet. So shall we get on with it? So I specifically come here to see one thing and that's the new Worcester 4000 combi boiler. So let's try and find where the Worcester stand is. The Worcester Bosch Green Star 4000 comes in two sizes for combi boiler, a 25 kilowatt and a 30 kilowatt. So that's 25 kilowatt heat output with a flow rate of 10.5 litres a minute and the 30 kilowatt comes with a flow rate of 12.3 litres a minute. It also comes with a range of system boilers which are 12, 15, 18, 21 and 24 kilowatts. This also comes as natural gas and LPG. 
Now, what's to say this new 4000 is a simple switch with the Junior, the SI and the I boilers? The only problem is those boilers had the expansion vessel on the back where the new one is built inside now. So that can cause a few problems with the flue, but there's a way over that. Now, once we remove the cover, you can now see the pressure relief valve has got easy access at the front. And they have this smart filling system. And also, the trap is a, a deeper trap, so you don't have to worry about freezing. Worcester also say this boiler is 10% quieter than the boiler it replaces, and its maximum flue length is 12 meters. The new gas valve now has a 1 in 10 ratio, which makes it go down to 3 kilowatts. Now to remove the front cover is like the 8000. It's just held on with a clip at the top and these two slots at the bottom, here and here, which go into these two screws here, one here on the left and one here on the right. Now like all the inside a boiler casing videos we do, let's start at the top of this boiler and have a look at these components more closely. So the first thing you can see, it looks a little bit different from the Junior, with the expansion vessel being at the front. So you can see the Schrider valve is easily accessible at the front and the expansion vessel is a 6 litre expansion vessel set at 0.75 bar. Now you can see the right hand side of this boiler is pretty much the same as the new 2000 boiler with the same burner. But if you look here on the left hand side they have moved the automatic air vent to the top of the heat exchanger rather than the pump. Now down here you can see this new gas valve which is the 1 in 10 modulation which basically goes down to 3 kilowatts. So this boiler would be a perfect boiler for a flat or a small house where we need to modulate down as low as we can. Also this is where the air comes in for combustion. So this Venturi now is the main reason why the flue lengths are now extended. So this is where the air comes in, mixes with the gas, goes up the black tube to the back of the fan and then off up into the burner. So we can see the electrode leads have also changed. We'll look at them closely in a minute. And we've now got easy access to the bottom of the expansion vessel. Fan is pretty much the same as the 2000. Now if we look down at the bottom, first thing we notice is the traps changed and the pump along with this automatic filling loop. So the pump is an ERP pump to comply with Boiler Plus. So it's a fully modulating pump. So just to the right of the pump, you can see the position of the diverter valve and the diverter valve motor. And just underneath the diverter valve, which is easy accessible from there, you can see the visual filling gauge. So when you're filling the system up, you can see what pressure you're setting it at. There is also a digital version of the pressure gauge on the control panel, but obviously you can't see that when you're manually filling the system. Now, to improve access to the boiler drain valve, which is located just behind the pressure gauge, the pressure gauge bracket can be easily removed from the structure by just inserting a screwdriver into this hole and then pulling out the gauge completely. Now, directly under the pump, you can now see the pressure relief valve unlike the old junior this is easy accessible and just to the left we could you can just about see is the flow turbine for your hot water so that's where your cold comes in spins the turbine which tells the boiler that your taps running and finally on this right hand side just slightly above the pump and to the left is something what's not very common on a Worcester boiler which is a low water pressure sensor. Next we've got the 500 milliliter condensate siphon which is a large capacity condensate siphon which will help to significantly reduce the risk of freezing. Now I'm going to show you how to gain access to the injector. So you can see the black knot on top of the gas valve is what holds the injector in. And this is what they've nicked off the old Junior. It does not have a retaining clip in. So you just need to remove the rubber hose from the gas valve to the uh, Venturi. And then unscrew the nut 
like I say there's nothing holding this nut in only the thread and it's just there to hold in this injector it's a bit of a beggar to get out but once you get it out this is the injector for the 30 kilowatt natural gas there will be one for the 25 and one for the LPG as you can see here we've still got the fan pressure test point so what's to say we remove this cap put our digital manometer onto here run our fan on maximum and depending on the reading will tell us whether we need to strip and clean the main heat exchanger. So as you can see from the chart if we get a reading of 0 millibars to minus 5.1 millibars then we will need to strip and clean the main heat exchanger. Put a reading of above minus 5.2 means we don't need to strip and clean it. And next to that we have our single screw which allows us to remove the fan from the burner. So let me show you now how we're going to remove this fan and remove the burner. So first of all we need to remove the leads, so the main power supply and the earth, which I found was a bit of a beggar to get off. Then we need to remove the rubber tube off the gas file to the Venturi. Then we just undo this single screw which connects the fan to the main burner as you can see now it's just a matter of unclipping it and out comes the fan it's as simple as that now you can see the bearing plate now has been moved off the back of the fan like it is in the 2000 it's back at the top now of the burner so it's easy accessible by just one screw and again, like the old junior, we've just literally got one nut which holds on the whole burner assembly. So it's just a matter of undoing that nut and we can gain access to the burner. Also, the side panels are fully removable now. So there's just a screw in the middle, screw at the top and a screw at the bottom. And we can remove the side panel to gain full access to the burner like you can see here. And you can see I've already removed the burner I've also removed the plate to plate heat exchanger which like the 2000 again is just literally one screw and you can remove that. There is still the plate on the top to be able to remove the baffles easy enough as long as your flue doesn't go out to the right hand side. And we've also got some new spark electrodes so instead of being on the gasket they're now underneath the gasket. I did make a meal of getting it out. But uh, you can see there there's a new plate and everything. It slides in a lot easier. So I couldn't get it out like that. But now we've also got new electrode leads. Which clip onto the spark generator easy there. So these are making easier to remove now unlike the old ones. So we need to put the burner in. So the cut burner just slots in again like the old one used to do. But this time the gasket fits right over the top of everything now and the gasket is recessed to allow this and then again the burner cover just slots over the hooks on the back and then over the bolt so we can put the nut on to retain it now getting the electrodes on is a lot easier and taking them off now is a lot easier but there is another earth wire to put on so earth onto the top and then earth for the ignition it's as simple as that now to gain access to the bottom part of the boiler just press these tabs in and the flap comes down. Now echoing the installer friendly design from the 8000 lifestyle range you can use the 4000 control panel as a tool tray which is a dedicated area for screws and integrated screwdriver holder. The tray will easily hold the weight of the heaviest components such as the fan or pump or plate heat exchanger which is a perfect when servicing this boiler. Quite a nifty idea really, or is it just a gimmick? So to remove the siphon you press this little green tab in and then you can pull the full siphon out. So this is the green tab you push it in which allows you then to unclip or clip back in the siphon. So you just do it in reverse order, line it up with the spigot under the heat exchanger and then just push it home and it locks in with a click. 
Now, like the 8000 style combi boiler, the 4000 comes with the Green Star Integral filling system. So if the system pressure becomes low, the revolutionary software opens the internal filling valve to restore the optimum pressure automatically and then closes off the valve again. Now again, the 4000 uses the 8000 style control display which gives the customer and the heating engineer the complete control for the boiler and heating system for faster commissioning and fault finding, system control, servicing and the current boiler status. So let's have a look at that more closely. Now the first button we're going to use is the menu button which allows you to enter or switch back to the main menu. Now we've pressed the button you can see the preheat is on there. Now if we use a down arrow we can go one down which is the boiler status so it shows us exactly where the boiler is up to on the front of the screen in colour. Now if we press the exit button or the back arrow it takes us back to the screen and we can scroll down to the next settings. Now we're in the boiler information which gives us the status of the boiler so things like what the water pressure is and what the temperatures of things are and whether we've got the preheat turned on or not. Now next thing we're going to look at is the service mode or the engineer's mode. We can press the central heating and hot tap button together, hold it for three seconds and it will bring us into the service menu. Now the first section you'll see on the screen is the benchmark so that will help the engineer to fill the benchmark book and if you go down to the next one it shows the boiler status and then you can scroll through using all that different keys again always making sure you're pressing the OK button if you want to accept it. Now because this boiler is a simple switch with the Junior, the SI and the I boilers the expansion vessel is on the back of some of those boilers and you might need to buy this little gizmo which will get you in the right location to be able to install your flue on the new boiler. Only problem with it is it reduces your overall flue length by 4 meters. And finally let's have a look at the controls. So similar to the 8000 and 2000 range, the Green Star 4000 is compatible with the industry first RF key slotting receiver, which provides wireless RF communication between the boiler and the load compensating controls to make it compatible with Boiler Plus. It enables you to quickly and easily fit the wireless Bosch Easy Controls, the Green Star Comfort Plus 2 RF and the Comfort Plus Controls. So that's the controls which makes it so much easier when coming to wire up the boiler. And that is the end of our little visit to the something building society stadium now it's called what's it called i don't know anyway the old rico arena coventry city's ground which they've only come back to this season they got hammered 5-0 yesterday anyway we're not talking about that but uh, that is the end of our visit to install a live for 2021 got fex next week so we'll be going to that but anyway if you've liked this video why don't you give it that thumbs up or leave a constructive comment down below if you're not subscribed to our channel then please subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell because you want youtube to tell you when we're uploading videos i haven't got no clue when it is but anyway it's been mondays for a few times now all i've got left to say is thanks for watching thanks for listening and thanks to all the guys who came up to me and wanted selfies and to talk to me cheers guys